hello everyone welcome to this new video tutorial again on wordpress and in this tutorial i will show you how i will migrate this website very easily from uh, this old hosting provider to this new namesheep hosting provider and in this tutorial i will try to do this step by step and this tutorial will be completely for beginners and also this tutorial in this tutorial I will try to make everything safe for everyone and in order uh, to do this I will uh, go through all the problems that you can face and I will show you any problem and the solution of it of it in the end, at the end of the video so keep watching the video till the end and before this before we begin the migration you will need to know those information you need to know the old hosting uh, provider the, the old hosting ip address and the new hosting ip address so it's very easy you can find that on the client area as you can see here is my old uh, IP address on the client area and here is my new IP address uh, as you can see of my hosting you can also find this on the cPanel as you can see write all those information on a notepad and also you will need to know the new hosting name servers also as you can see so after this let's begin our tutorial so uh, first let's go over the dashboard of the website that I want to migrate to the new hosting and in this tutorial we will need two type of plugin to do this uh, safely and easily you and for this let's go over the section plugins and add new as you can see here the first plugin is construction mode and I will explain why we will need this plugin so here is the uh, the one that I am recommending it's in their construction as you can see in the construction and why we will need this plugin because uh, you don't want your viewers to see uh, the transition that you are doing a tr uh, migration over a new server also you want your SEO to be safe and you don't want those editing that you are making on your server and website to be showing on Google so this will prevent all that and this will protect your SEO so we will need this one and let's hit install and let's also activate the the plugin very quickly activate and let's go over the second plugin that we will need and let's search for Ipdraft Plus and actually I am using uh, this plugin for a very long time I was just uh, uh, deleting this plugin in order to show you how to install this plugin for the tutorial so uh, here is the Ipdraft Plus that I, am use, that I will use in this tutorial and actually this plugin gives you a very good amount of tool for free uh, this plugin actually gives you the possibility to uh, backup your website to save the backup, the backup on your computer and actually if anything uh, happened to your website you can uh, take the backup and restore your website from scratch from a, a, a very uh, a new server even if you you can 
uh, also restore the database you can restore the files everything and completely everything you can also restore your plugins that you have you can also restore that so you can restore your whole website uh, for one click as you can see and let's install this plugin again and as you can see you click install and activate so uh, here the first thing to do guys is go you will see before you will see guys that we have a new button here called updraft plus here at the top and also you can access to the plugin by clicking on uh, by clicking on settings and by going over the updraft plus backup as you can see we have this section so let's go over here and as you can see I already have all the backup for the website let's delete this so this is how you delete the backup to, that you have on your website and in order to take a new backup you just need to click on backup now and you will need to click and select what you want to backup by clicking on those dots as you can see and check plugin team upload any other directory found inside the WP content so this will give the plugin the possibility to backup everything okay under your hosting so let's click backup now and let's wait a moment so here as you can see we have now our backup and basically how this plugin work is it goes and it take every every part of your website separated in a zip file for example we have the database we have the plugins the section for the team for the uploads and for other files for example we have all the file related to the database here compressed in a zip file over here and you can download those files by clicking on download to your computer so let's save this on a folder and let's save this over here and I will copy this link target as you can see this target link to my folder to remember it and let's download all those files as you can see okay save let's save all this and this way it's very very easy to take backup for your website so here after all my files are downloaded successfully as you can see the the next step is I we will need to go over the under construction mode as you can see and now the under construction mode is a mode that gives you the ability to hide all the changes that you are doing on your website hide all that from your uh, visitors and also from the google robots and this will make your transition safe for the ECU of your website so here uh, the, actually the majority of those designs are uh, premium and if you like the plugin you can buy the plugin as you can see but uh, in this tutorial we will stay with the free uh, design as you can see so let's just choose the turn this on like this 
by checking on and now you can see that this dot over here is green right now instead of red so that means that the visitor cannot view your website so let's make uh, so now I can see the website as you can see it's under the construction mode but if we open a new uh, private tab as you can see we cannot see the website all we see is sorry we we are doing some work on the site as you can see so in that way you make your website safe and you make your SEO safe so now the next step to do is to change the domain name server to my new hosting name server that I have over here as you can see and actually it's very easy all you need to do is navigate to the domain website whenever wherever you have the, your domain name registered you just need to navigate for example I'm having this domain in Google domain you will have this section or where you can change the DNS and here we are we have now uh, our old servers you can see and let's change those servers by clicking on manage name servers and then all we need to do is copy past those host name server so actually here we just have two name server as you can see it can be three or four it depends on your uh, server that you have hosting the hosting that you have click save so now uh, the settings was saved successfully but remember you need to wait at least from 6 to 48 hours it can be up to 48 hours in order to the connection uh, in order for the connection between the server and the domain to be done but I will show you a magic trick on how you can instantly pair your website with the server immediately using this uh, little trick that I will show you right now so let's test uh, for example the website right now and as you can see the, the website is still paired with my Russian server old server that I, you can see here you just can't see the content because I deleted everything related to the, ser to the hosting So to pair the website with the server immediately without needing of need of waiting so long, here is what you need to do. Search for Notepad, as you can see, right click and remember to run it as administrator. Click yes. And now we have Notepad as run it as administrator so right now let's open the host file okay in order to open this file navigate to this PC and your local disk drive C where the Windows is installed then search for system so search for Windows and then so search for system 32 as you can see and then you will see a folder uh, NIMED drivers as you can see then last step is click on etc and change this text document to all file in order to see 
the files and here is the host file right there as you can see uh, so uh, we have this line over here what this mean is that I have pointed this URL to this IP address of the server and they will do the same thing so let's take the new hosting IP address as you can see like this pass this over here and let's take the website like this and now let's just copy the website get rid of this HTTP protocol okay uh, let's add the 3w to the website like this and immediately you will notice that immediately when I will click on save the website will be pointed directly to the new hosting so now the website is pointed to the new hosting as you can see so one more thing to say don't forget to edit again the host file and remove uh, those edits that we made whenever the connection between your domain and server is done you can test that by testing your URL website on other device so whenever the connection is paired successfully without any host changes uh, don't make sure to remove those changes from your, your host so now our next step is to connect our domain name to the new cpanel if you see your domain name over the here as a primary domain name just skip this part if you don't so go over the section domain as you can see and here click on domain and here simply create a new domain as you can see and here type your domain name like this let's copy this really quick remove this let's remove this HTTP protocol and so after successfully adding your domain name you will see your domain over here as you can see like this so right now the rest is very easy go over the section software as you can see on your cpanel then click on your on the wordpress icon and then install a new version of wordpress and here all we need to check is the protocol to be https and the website to be uh, our domain name make sure uh, to uh, don't write anything here because this will put your website instead of the home page you will have like uh, slash something on your home page and this will block all your URL on the website so make sure you don't type anything here and remember the password install so actually we don't care about uh, so much details because the the most important thing about this installation is just to run Epdraft plus on the dashboard and then use the plugin in order to restore our website on the new server The next thing is to install the Epdraft Plus backup plugin. Let's click on Add New. Search for Updraft Plus. Okay. 
here is our plugin click install and click activate so now the plugin is installed let's navigate directly through the plugin and let's upload the backup files we are looking for the backup for this website so I think it's over the, over here actually on the backup file you can see the time and everything so uh, this backup is for day 13 and this backup is for day 21 and the time is 22 as you can see so let's copy this backup file instead so actually for the purpose of the video I have edited the max upload file size and if you don't see this error message just ignore this step and if you see this I will show you the solution immediately all you need to do is navigate to the C panel and go over the file manager and make sure to go over your website folder and the wp content folder you will find a folder called AppDraft as you can see and basically this folder for the backup of the plugin okay so we we'll, we will delete all this let's uh, stop this okay so uh, this folder is for the backup files so you can upload the backup using the plugin interface or in the dashboard or you can uh, upload the file using the file manager or the FTP as you can see on your cPanel so here is how you can do it using the file manager folder so let's uh, go again over the updraft plus folder so let's delete those files all the files that we have here delete so now let's click on upload and let's drag the file over here like this so I try to make every possible scenario that you can face and every problem that you can face so I can make this uh, migration tutorial video safe for everyone even for beginner even if you don't know anything about WordPress and that's it so uh, now after those file uh, all the file uh, uploaded successfully to the folder to the updraft plus folder now what you need to do is you need to click on rescan local folder for a new backup set as you can see so here is our backup that uh, our backup files and you can see the date and the time so let's click on restore so right now for the restoration you need to select all those checkbox plugin team upload other database because we don't we want a complete restoration of the website click restore 
here we need to wait for a few uh, one minute or two so right now you will get directly this box that will tell you to log in so let's log in with the old detail you need to use your old detail instead of the new ones and after login you can return to ipdot section as you can see here's the dashboard of my old website on the new server right now and I see everything is done correctly we have our website fully running without any problem on the new server I hope you understand how you can migrate to your website without any issue thank you guys for watching don't forget to give me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to fix it free in order to get new video like this thank you guys for watching I will reply to everyone so whenever you have any problem just comment the problem and I will reply the solution mm -hmm.